Hey, what's going on guys? It's Willem over here. And before anything, I would like to give a quick shout out to everybody for this channel reaching 200 subscribers. But more on that later, you're here for the guide. Now there are many different melee crit builds that you can follow out here, but this one I found tailored suited best for the Nikana Prime. But in the end, it's your game. I'm not saying this is the best build out there, but this thing works great and it can guarantee some pretty sick DPS. But first, Dojo. Now in case you didn't know, a red crit is what happens when you crit crits. Let me explain this real quick. Any percentage higher than 100% of crit chance is your red crit chance. Your red crit multiplier is your current weapon multiplier times 2 minus 1. Now some of you may ask, how is this possible with a melee weapon? Well it's easy, but it's not gonna be cheap. You're gonna need a max blood rush, get a base level one, or buy it at max a trade chat, or warframe.market. Currently this mod is no longer farmable so we'll have to wait for DE to put it back into the enemy loot tables. What Blood Rush does, it gives you more and more crit chance every time your multiplier goes up. If you don't know what your combo multiplier is, it's a number at the lower right of your screen when you use a melee weapon. This tells you how much more damage you're doing overall. The more hits you do, the more it stacks. The more it stacks, the more crit chance you're getting from Blood Rush. So you're basically stacking that up until your crit chance reaches more than 100%. You'll start by doing nothing but yellow crits, then you start going up doing red crits here and there, but doing enough hits you'll eventually reach a point where you do nothing but red crits. Pure, unsolicited, unadulterated crits. That in mind, this helps you scale along with your enemies and survivals, interceptions, and whatnot. I'll link a guide down below to help explain this. Any melee weapon with a 15% crit chance or higher will be enabled to red crit through this mod. Alright, let's get to modding. This is a 0 to 1 forma build. 0 to 1 forma is because the Nikana Prime already comes with a V and a D polarity. As long as you're using one elemental damage combo that involves cold, you don't need that extra dash polarity. However, if you want to use another combo, you're going to have to put that extra dash polarity there. And then put your low capacity mod like the Spoiled Strike or the Organ Shatter on the D polarity. You should have just enough mod capacity for all this. Now besides one elemental damage combo, your base mods will be the Pressure Point and the Spoiled Strike. Now you can change the Spoiled Strike to Berserk or live strike but you're gonna have to form it again in my opinion the attack speed of this is already great even with spoil strike on if not you can swap that out but other than spoil strike everything else on this build is pretty much essential you got your crit mods true steel and organ shatter and then your core mods blood rush which I explained earlier and body count you will need this body count otherwise you're gonna have a hard time getting this counter up and keeping it up. Without this, if you don't hit something in 3 seconds, your additional damage multiplier and your additional crit chance from the blood rush will go to waste. With body count, this increases that to 15 seconds. That's enough time if the place isn't that crowded. That's also just about enough time to keep your combo going in between defense waves in some maps, including ODD. You can use any stance of your choice. But what works best for me is Tranquil Cleave. Blind Justice works great with this build too. However, Decisive Judgment, as much as I love it, is a little bit slow on this build. But it still works. Now what's cool about this build, you can take this and put it under any other melee weapon with a 15% crit chance or higher, including war and broken war. Change out that spoil strike if you're using a slower melee weapon. But yeah, that's about everything you need to know in a nutshell. But a quick word before I end this video, I just like, I want to thank everybody for 200 subs. It may not be a lot to a lot of people, but it is a lot to me. I mean, it's one of my first few milestones and as a YouTuber starting off, it is really, really awesome. Just seeing, you know, the numbers kind of. But what I love more than that is talking to you guys. Feel free to leave a comment anytime, anywhere on my videos, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I've been thinking about branching out to other games. Uh, I played the Division Beta. Might upload the footage on that soon. And I'm considering pre-ordering it. Might try other games as well. Other videos that are coming up, I'm probably going to do a video dedicated to user requests. But yeah, I'll be seeing you guys around. I'll keep making videos. I'll try to get in at least once a week. I'm switching jobs so it might impact my schedule, might not. But yeah, anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you found it helpful. If not, please let me know. Leave a comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts on the video, on the build. You can follow me at Twitter at twitter.com slash willom. I got a Facebook and Google Plus I'm trying to get used to. But other than that, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this every week. And as always, have a great one.